the world of finance and accounting has been talking about the role of a strategic CFO, as we all know. But now the CFO, he not only need to be more strategic, but also he need to be a transformational CFO. He need to be more tech savvy and he has to act as a change catalyst to support the major tremendous amount of transformationals that is going on around the globe. So now you, we don't need only a strategic CFO, but we need a next generation CFO who can act as a transformational or change agent for the organization. Because as you can see on your screen, as we all know, the journey of the CFOs or the traditional accounting, it starts from being a business operator where he is involved is more on the compliance, tax, reporting, controlling, closing the books. That was at a very initial stage. And that's what we have been taught and trained in our professional accountancy qualification. Then the mid of the century, we can see he is more expected to play the role of business partner where they have to generate more insights. They have to do the decision support. They have to support the strategic operational decision making and involve in the restructuring of the business like m and and also the risk and compliance. But now in the present, the role of CFO has been changed to the chief value officer from the chief financial officer where he has to act as a value architect where he has to manage all the volatility, complexity that's going on in this book environment. And he has to also bring the competitive advantage. And on the top of everything, he has to leverage emerging and digital technologies as most of the organization are rethinking their fundamental business models and CFO has to play more vital role in this transformational journey. So we have to think where we are. If we as a mid-level or even senior level finance professionals, we are aspiring to take the role of CFO, we have to realize this fact that what we have learned in our accounting and finance qualification or even just by gathering sufficient work experience is not enough now because the expectations of the business from CFOs have been changed completely. As the CFO, we know he has to act as a business partner or a co-pilot to the CEO. So according to this research done by KPMG, as you can see, what are the big concerns of the CEOs regarding the CFO skill set? As you can see on your screen, 45% of the CFOs believe that their CFOs lack commercial acumen. That means the lack of business acumen. They don't understand the business. They are just involved on, as we saw in the previous slide, traditional accounting, bookkeeping, risk, compliance, and regulatory requirement. But they have to understand the business. They have to understand the strategy, the value creation cycle of the business. That's what obviously the role of a strategic CFO is. Apart from this, 41% believe the weak leadership skills because if you have all the knowledge, if you have all the understanding of the business, if you know how external factors, economy impact, but you have to implement it, right? If you have to bring the transformation, if you have to support the transformation, you should have a very strong leadership. That's where only you can do the execution. That's why weak leadership skills, of course, this is one of the major gap that is being reported. Then they are very narrowly focused means they are just sitting in their comfort zones. Like they are not stepping out of their comfort zones and building relationship with non-finance business partners. That is one of the major concern. Then the big picture vision. Of course, if you don't understand the emerging technologies, emerging trends, overall business model, the holistic view of the business, of course, they cannot have a big picture vision. Then interpersonal skills also, because they need to collaborate with different business functions to accomplish the overall strategic objectives of the organization. So these are really concerning findings. This is really something serious that we need to think about if we are really aspiring to become a CFO. So we have to prepare ourselves for the next generation CFO expectations from these business leaders. According to another research done by McKenzie and company, as you can see, the role of CFO is being evolved so rapidly, it's expanding in the scope and requiring different capabilities and skills and competencies because there are lots of other business functions who are also reporting to the CFOs, like as you can see the procurement, your M&A, your enterprise transformation, your maybe project management office or your digital transformation. The cyber security is also a very important issue these days with the advent of emerging technologies and e-commerce. Then you can say the risk management, the corporate strategy, the pricing, internal order, regulatory compliance. So these are so overwhelming tasks that the CFO has to 
managed in his office or with the help of his team. And we all know very well that during our accountancy qualifications or even our trainings in the audit firms, we were not trained to become and to handle this multiple of uh, tasks and responsibilities in the CFO office. So that's why we have to upskill ourselves. We have to take the action now in order to prepare ourselves because just gathering some work experience is not enough really. There are CFOs who are becoming or taking this role only with the 10 to 15 years of experience. Why? Because they have the skills. They have what their CEOs and business leaders are expecting from. So that's what in order to tackle this issue at a global level, Hub of Finance Transformation, that is a global community of finance professional and it's one of its division Hub Academy has launched a groundbreaking or very unique program that is the next generation CFO leadership program. And as you can see on the screen, it's covering, it's a very comprehensive program that is covering each and everything each and every skills competency that is being expected from the CFO. As you can see, first of all, it will start with the personal development plan of your PDP of each and every participant individually will be taken care by the CFO coach. Then there is a role of a strategic business partner where you will involve in the strategy formulation, execution, becoming a business partner with your non-finance business function. Then the second thing is the most important gap is the leadership. Here you talk about how you can become a more influential leader, more transformational leader, because if you have all the skills and capabilities, as we discussed, it's useless if you cannot implement or bring change in the organization. So that's where we will focus here on becoming more influential leader uh, as a CFO. Then, of course, without emerging technology, if you don't understand how to leverage emerging technologies in your organization, if you cannot build a very strong collaboration with your CIO or chief technology officer because CFO should understand how to leverage the emerging technologies, how to drive the real business results from these emerging technologies and tools that are available. So here we will cover this thing. And then, of course, the data. Data is coming from multiple sources. We know that window big data and analytics and the decision science because CFO has to make a very important financial operational strategic decisions and they have to support and influence the decision making at the board level, right? So here we will build your capabilities on data analytics for finance business results to improve your data-driven decision capabilities to bring a data-driven culture in your organization. Then in the last of course, it's all about the reporting to your uh, stakeholders, to your investors, to your board and how you can do such reporting, how you can manage and measure the performance of business. That's all about in the performance management module. Then in the last, if you can see, there are lots of electives because CFO has to play a very important role as well in the restructuring of the organization, project financing, m &A. So this is up to your choice. Whatever is relevant to you, you can choose from the electives as well. So some of the unique features of this program is, first of all, there is a CFO coach. So you will be assigned a CFO coach who will be working with you to develop and understand your individual challenges, your what are the issues in your career, in your organization, and he will work with you to develop your personal development plan. And apart from this, there are world-class trainers who are Fortune 100 CFOs, ex-CFOs of a very large organization who have already gone through these transformational journeys and they will be sharing their experience. There are multiple instructors, subject matter experts, and there will be a mentoring as well. So there, will, there are already lots of CFOs, finance leaders from different parts of the world who have joined this program and they will be bringing their unique industry experience, challenges, so they will be actually acting as your peer group mentor. So this is a unique blend of CFO coaching, training, as well as the mentoring that you will find in this program. We will cover lots of real life case studies. There will be life classes, office hours with your instructors and coach. You have a choice of elective, personal development plan. You will get access to emerging technologies. You will get certificates for each of these modules from globally recognized institutions. As you can see on your right-hand side, your finance business partner, CFO University from USA, finance business partner Academy from UK, finance analytics institute from USA, from UK, from Canada. There are lots of certificates that you will get from globally recognized and at the last you will get a full program certificate from cfo.university 
to showcase your accomplishment, you will also get opportunity to meet networking even in Dubai. Also, you will become a part of global community of finance professional that is the HOF. You will be connected with lots of senior finance leaders from different parts of the world, as well as there are many recruiters who are connected with us. So there are lots of amazing networking opportunities. Apart from this, HOF is also the partner and uh, training partner of you know AFP the association of finance professionals so we have some best practices in the role of FPN because you know the FPN is the backbone of CFO office so we know what are the best practices in the FPN that what we are going to cover because we have FPEC qualified trainers as well in the CFO program so you will be getting best practices in the FPN side also in that the CFO office has to leverage fully to act as a business partner so that's what is also our unique feature. As we all know, we cannot solve the problems with the same thinking that we use when we created them. So the growth obviously comes from the new thinking. So in order to get the new thinking, and as we all know, there is an ample supply of talent in the job market. So this program will really help you to stand out of the crowd and even to en enhance your influential capabilities, your skills, capability with your current employer, or if you're looking for a new opportunities in the large, big organizations, there is a lots of, you know, talent war is going on. There is a ample supply of talent in the job market. So you have to compete with them. You have to stand out of the crowd and this program will help you. Even uh, MBA degree or your charter accountancy CPA degree will not help because they are in ample supply, right? So you have to be unique. You have to stand out of the crowd. And that's what this program will enable you to stand out of the crowd and play your role and just take opportunity. So this is your investment with a very high ROI. This is a standard fee. We have also the discounted fee of two to nine nine dollars. Four seats are left only at this and it will be closed. You have a flexible payment plan of two seventy seven dollars for nine months. So this is your investment. And if you consider the ROI of this investment, this is a very minimal nominal amount because you can get a very high ROI from this investment. You can even start your own CFO advisory services, or if you have a plan to work, start your consulting services, or if you have a plan to take CFO roles or upskill yourself, this program can help you to accomplish this. So if you are aspiring or ready to embark on your transformation journey towards next generation CFO, just click on the link in the description of this video. Very few seats are left for this program because we are taking a very limited number in the batch. So if you are really interested, then contact us or just enroll yourself and we shall be glad to take you on board on this exciting transformation journey. Thank you.